for cheap D2R items. Visit AOEAH.com, you get 3% off with the code Ariad. Check the link in the description. Hello and welcome everybody. In today's video, we are taking a look at my Black Samurai Barb, who only makes use of set items. Under that aspect, his performance is surprisingly strong. Definitely enough for players 1 and even in parties up to 3 or 4, he can still be very effective. Plus the look is pretty cool. Dress code black. Let's briefly go over the build. It's a frenzy barb with two swords and to handle physically immune monsters, we put 10 points into Berserk. Sword mastery and battle orders are maxed out as well. In the stats, we need enough strength and dexterity for the gear, remaining points go into vitality. Let's move on to the equipment. This barbarian is built around the Bulkato set, which consists of two swords. Like a samurai, he fights with a long blade and a short one, hence the name Black Samurai. The long sword provides 35% crushing blow and I've socketed an IASED jewel here. We need 68% increased attack speed to reach the maximum. I've socketed a bear rune in the short blade, but you could also use a low rune for more deadly strike. The full set grants extra attack rating, bonus damage to undead and demons and 20% deadly strike. I use a G face socketed with another ISED jewel, but the plain one works fine too. This helmet boosts crushing blow and deadly strike helping us to smash down elite monsters and bosses. The chest, gloves and boots are from the Immortal King set with the Chum Rune in the armor to prevent freezing. The gloves provide 25% increased attack speed when using 3 set pieces while the boots add plus 2 to combat skills and some magic find. For mana leech I am using Wilhelm's Sprite belt which pairs with the helmet for a small life bonus. The rings and amulet come from the angelic set, which gives us a bunch of attack rating, so we almost never miss, just like a true samurai. In the weapon switch, I use nice staff for its teleport charges and in the inventory, we pack some charms to maximize resistances and of course max damage, life and attack rating. We also take along an act 1 mercenary, she will support us with the fanaticism aura from her bow which we need for extra attack speed and damage. Here are some alternative gear suggestions that are nice to know. To prevent from freezing, you could also use Trungul's belt or the Zash from the Death Disguise set. The latter also provides increased attack speed if paired with the gloves. You can get mana leech by socketing a Vex rune or a skull into the short blade, but without the Immortal King gloves, we'll need to invest more into dexterity and strength. Another cool option is the Cow King set, which offers some nice adds, including attack speed and magic find. In this case, the Barbarian will look more like a brown samurai. Additionally, we use laying on hands, which are incredibly powerful when fighting demons. So this setup is also great for council runs in Driving Cow. For Uber Tristram, this barbarian is pretty well equipped with the standard gear, but two things are missing. We want to cast the life tap curse and we need to stack more resistances. So we make use of two non-set items. A life tap wand to cast the curse and the treasury armor to precast fate for extra resistances and damage reduction. A few extra charms may also be needed. Additionally, we should use a short sword with a num rune to trigger open wounds. And I also like to use the laying on hands gloves for extra damage to demons. To survive Uber Tristram, precast fate with the treachery armor before going down there and then lure Mephisto down to take him out first. Regularly recast life tap in between and use the howl skill to get rid of any troublesome monsters. I use two different attacks here, Frenzy to gain the speed buff and open wounds and concentrate for unstoppable hits. It is also helpful to keep your mercenary alive, this allows you to maintain at maximum attack speed and the damage boost from the fanaticism aura is also nice of course. 
but if she dies, you can still handle the situation and go to town between the boss fights to revive her and restock potions. The samurai barbarian is quite strong, especially when you consider that he's only using set items. These are quite affordable. The most expensive things on my barbarian are the jewels and charms and the mercenary's bow. But of course, it also works without the mercenary and with some cheaper jewels and charms. You can check out all the gameplay footage to see him in action. Have a nice weekend, take care and may the loot be with you.
can't carry anymore. Follow me. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> 